What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. So we're focusing on the Nashville Predators pulling the plug on the Steve Moses experiment, um, waiving the former UNH Wildcat, putting one on unconditional waivers uh, to terminate his contract. Obviously, Moses was kind of a sought after free agent this uh, this past summer. Went from UNH to the uh, to Europe, played for. Uh, Yoke great in the SM Liga, and then when they jumped to the KHL, set the KHL record for most goals in a season. Was, you know, guy teams wanted Nashville, gave him one year, one million, signed him, sent him to the AHL, um, which was kind of like, what? What, what? What's going on here? And then, uh, you know, now it's like, all right, they're uh, they're cleaning their, wiping their hands of him. Uh, he's going to be a free agent, and Elliot Friedman tweeted that the, uh, Looks like he's going back to the KHL. Um, SKA St. Petersburg actually got his KHL rights last week, so it could be on a on a flight from Milwaukee to uh, St. Petersburg, Russia, not Florida. Uh, so that's something to keep an eye on. Again, I was rooting for him to do well. You know, I remember watching him play college hockey, and I was, he was a good college hockey player, good hockey East player. Um, but he wasn't like an oh my god like. I need to watch this guy, but it, it was good, and yet the thing I, I never really got is, like, why so many, like, good players get, like, overlooked, and maybe I'm a simpleton, um, like, you know, you can tell he could play, and he, he never really got a legitimate look in North America until he went over to Europe and really did some big-time things, and then, uh, you know, I don't know what happened with Nashville, I thought it was a decent fit, you know, he's a, a Massachusetts native, Peter Laviolette's Massachusetts native, I know that doesn't mean shit, but, you know, it's like, it's there, um, and, you know, I just really felt like he, he really could have, um, you know, done some pretty cool things with the Predators, um, but wasn't meant to be. It's, you know, I, I would like to see him in the NHL, but, you know, I guess he's got to pack up and then go back to the K where he's had some great success. I think Kovalchuk plays for St. Petersburg, too, so that's, that's pretty cool. Um, and, you know, just definitely a... Uh, a tough blow for the kid, but I think he'll end on his feet. I think, you know, they'll grab him. They'll do some pretty cool things over there. And uh, they'll be, yeah, that's where uh, so Koval just playing. SKA St. Petersburg. So that's pretty cool. Pretty cool to have Koval Chuck on the line if he does go that way. Now, I'm curious if um, the another NHL team would give him a look, even though he only had eight points in the AHL. So it's not like he was you know, absolutely dominating, but, you know, we'll see what happens. One of those interesting little situations. So, I'm not, the Elliot Kovalchuk left North America with 417 goals at the age of 30. Wow. Anyway, that's all I got to sort of the power play with CJ on the Steve Moses experiment coming to an end in Nashville. Stay tuned for more episodes throughout the season and beyond. Later, guys.